Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Zenus Minis. My name is Greg and this is your weekend quick tip. Short tutorials that focus on specific things within the hobby and we're continuing with the base team this week. So we've already covered how you can create a toxic Nurgle base, a Martian Badlands and also an alien ice world. So if you missed out on any of those you can catch up using the link above. But for this week we're getting a bit more technical because I'm going to be showing you how you can create a war-torn urban base using corkboard and some accessories. To start you'll need to get your hands on some corkboard which you can get from a lot of different places online and then you'll need to break off a piece that's a suitable size for your base. An easy method to create those exposed rebars jutting out of the concrete is to take a paper clip, snip off two pieces and carefully insert them into the cork. Next fix your cork to the base using PVA glue. It's a lot easier to clean a silicone sculpting tool so I am using one of these instead of a brush to spread that PVA glue around. Then we're going to add some razor wire to the base by snipping off a piece, wrapping it around something to shape it and then gluing it in place. As always guys, you can find links to all the products that I've used in today's tutorial in the description below. And once that glue is dried, cover the entire base using Astro Granite Debris. Then paint the base using Mechanica Standard Grey and that's just to fill in any gaps left from the texture paint. Now we're moving on to the yellow road markings and you can make this a bit easier by creating a guide using masking tape. So firstly cut three strips using a ruler and a scalpel. Then place the strips onto the base to create your lines. Next use Uriel Yellow to paint in those road markings but don't worry about getting them too neat. The reason we didn't need the yellow to be too neat is because we're going to use a sponge now and dab Mechanica Standard Grey around those road markings and this is just to help it blend in with the rest of the base. Once you're done, cover everything but the brightest parts of the yellow with Null Oil. And after that null has dried, shade the yellow strips with Agrax Earthshade. Then create a scrag brown wash using around one part paint to three parts thinner and shade the razor wire and rebars to create a rusty effect. Next dry brush the base with Dawnstone and it is absolutely fine to catch the razor wire and the rebars while you're doing this because it just adds another layer of weathering. Now apply a dry brush of Administratum Grey. And to finish off the razor wire and those rebars, shade parts of the components with Agrax Earthshade and this will just help create some depth. Mm. 
and once you're finished, paint the rim of the base with the colour of your choice. And just to show that the Hive City may have been destroyed quite a while ago, add a tuft of grass growing out of the concrete. And with that you have finished your war-torn urban base perfect for kill team or city warfare in 40k. Guys that is the end of today's episode, really hope you've enjoyed, if you have drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, but don't forget to subscribe as well because we're going to be back with more bases in the future, we've got lots planned, we've got jungle bases, we've got sandy beach bases, we got a lot of bases, <laughs> so you're not going to want to miss that, but until next time, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you then.